no need to say it, you guys already know what's happening, so without any further delay, I am the Phoenix and this is highlights and reviews of WWE SMACKDOWN! March 19, 2021 We start off the evening with the SMACKDOWN Women's Championship match against the SMACKDOWN Women's Champion Sasha Banks and Nia Jax with Shayna Baszler at ringside. As the match was going on, Bianca Belair decided to show up and stand at ringside for Sasha Banks. At the closing moments of the match, Bianca Belair and Shayna Baszler started arguing outside the ring. That drew the attention of the official and Shayna Baszler attempted to take a shot at Sasha Banks but inadvertently hit her tag team partner Nia Jax. That opened the gate for Sasha Banks to capitalize and grab the win. Later that night, Nia Jax was mad at Shayna Baszler for what she did. Then Shayna goes on to say that she'll make up, make it up to her when she gets her hand on Bianca Belair tonight. And later, the same night, the match between Shayna Baszler and Bianca Belair took place. Sasha Banks and Nia Jax decide to leave ringside and then Shayna Baszler and Bianca Belair were attacked by Natalia and Tamina. Seth Rollins was inside the ring and talking about how he beat up Cesaro the week before and making fun of Cesaro. That made Shinsuke Nakamura come out to the ring and confront Seth Rollins. Then Shinsuke Nakamura goes on to get his hands on Seth Rollins then proceed to hit him with a Kinshasa and leave the ring. The Street Profits went head to head with the team of Dominic and Rey Mysterio with the SmackDown Tag Team Champions at Commentary. At the end of the match, the Mysterios managed to grab the win. After the match, the Mysterios were interrupted by the Alpha Academy and a match between the Alpha Academy and the, the Mysterios took place.
and the Alpha Academy, Otis and Chad Gable managed to grab the win. Some other matches and news. Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil will both be in WrestleMania this year as they will be the hosts for this year's WrestleMania. Now here's something which I found interesting. On Talking Smack, and I, now I don't really talk about what happened in Talking Smack and on Raw Talk usually, but this is interesting because on Talking Smack, when Apollo asked Kayla Braxton to address to him as the new Intercontinental Champion and she refused to do that, Paul Heyman goes on to say, we got rid of the wrong female journalist. Does that mean that Charlie Caruso is no longer a part of WWE? Because Charlie Caruso was not on Raw for the past two to three weeks. Now, of course, I'm not sure whether this is the truth or that Charlie is Charlie has left the company or anything like that. I don't. I'm not sure about that. But that's what I think about what Paul Heyman said on Talking Smack. A match between Sami Zayn and King Corbin took place as Kevin Owens was at commentary after Sami Zayn insisted on Kevin to be at be at ringside and see if he sees anything sketchy about the match. But the match was pretty fair except for the video clip which was shown before the match. King Corbin manages to grab the win. After the match, Sami Zayn goes on to ask Kevin Owens if he saw what Sami Zayn was talking about. But after Kevin Owens disagreeing with Sami Zayn, Zami Zayn goes on to attack Kevin Owens. Yeah. That brings us to the main event of the night. Edge vs Jay Uso where the winner will be the special ringside enforcer. For the match between Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns at Fastlane. After a spear by Edge, Edge manages to grab the win and become the special ringside enforcer for the match at Fastlane. After the match, Roman Reigns shows up and spears Edge in the center of the ring, then goes on to call out Daniel Bryan inside the ring, which Daniel Bryan was in commentary for the whole match, decide to accept the challenge by Roman Reigns, which led to Jey Uso attacking. Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns going on to hit Daniel Bryan with another spear. There you guys have it, all the segments and matches which took place at Friday Night Smackdown. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already guys because it helps me out a lot and it's free also so you should do it. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and turn on the bell notifications right next to the subscribe button if you if you want a notification when every time I upload a new video. So thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you guys later.